previously on Travels by Alex. We made it to our first stop of the day, the Monastery of Manasia. So, on our road trip to Zlatibor, we took a little stop at Chachik, which is another small town here in Serbia. We made it to the top of Mount Tornik from yes. the Gold Gondola. We're going on a really cool train ride uh, throughout nature. We're located here in Drvengrad. So this is like an ethno village. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Travels by Alex. I'm Alex, and today we are continuing my awesome trip around Serbia. Today is day six of my trip around Serbia, and we are going to be bidding farewell to Zlatibor as we continue our journey to other parts of Serbia here where we're going to be seeing, honestly, some pretty cool things. I'm not going to say what they are yet because I want you to be surprised just like I'm about to be. Uh, but before we go, I just want to say this has been such a pleasant and beautiful place to look at you know just like opening up your doors in the morning and looking out to this view i mean it's something very picturesque it's definitely not something i'm used to seeing on a daily basis or even when waking up so this has been a true treat uh, yamana is over here taking some final photos and look at just look at how beautiful this is can you believe it it i promise it's not a green screen it's actually real but anyways, we're going to head to the car, grab breakfast really quickly, and then head off to our first destination. We have about three places we are visiting today, and then we're going to probably head back into Belgrade later this evening. So, see you guys in a few. Okay guys, we arrived to the parking spot and now we are going the last, uh, what, 15 minutes of walk. We cannot go by car, but we have to drive. So, you want to say anything, Alex, for your, your YouTube sure. channel? I'm just a yeah, so recorder have, here. Our drive up here was so cool. What did you guys think of all the clips of us like going zigzagging around and even like of all the trees? We were a little worried because the road was extremely rocky coming up, but thankfully we were able to maneuver up here to the peak where you can park. And now, as Giovanna mentioned, the, this last walk here, you can't reach a bike car, you have to physically walk, but that's okay. We have proper footwear. It is a little chilly though, I will say. So if you are coming here, wear like something like a sweater or maybe a light jacket. Okay, just one more thing. This uh, here is actually all called uh... Tara National Park, it's right next to Zlatibor and very close from here you can see the border uh, we will see the border with uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina okay. <laughs> apparently we are entering the, the roaming and we are, according to our phones, we are in Bosnia and Herzegovina which is not the case, it's just that Bosnia and Herzegovina is very close from here uh, and the roaming, uh, roaming is uh, reaching us so yeah, I guess I should not send any messages or anything because they, they're gonna charge me. Look at this. We're in the middle of forest. We're in the middle of forest. You oh, know you can see the do... bears here? Don't tell me that. <laughs> Don't tell me that, please. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, uh, that it's this way, Bind Costera, and uh, it says funny. Look at this. Okay, you can record that. Brown bear country. So what's funny is when we were at Galuba's fortress a few days ago, who remembers that? We saw signs for snakes, venomous snakes actually, and now we have a sign here for bears. So I was telling Yvonne, I'm like, what other wildlife could we run into here signs-wise? This is so cool. Look at this, guys. These are like all these cool rocks and twigs are in the ground. Hey, look, so the now we have to follow these trees and signs of trees. Uh huh. Uh, in order to know which way to go. All right. Well, you can translate what the signs say for us. No, it's, it's just any kind of location. Uh -huh. It can be line, it can be circle. It shows you that uh, you the next one you, you see, it's over there, so you know this is the path. Got it. Okay.
everybody, so we have made it to the top of Banska Stena, which is overlooking the Drina River behind us. And honestly, like this video doesn't do it justice, but that behind us is also Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, because as we were walking up, as we said, our service has changed and it said you're now in this country. So pretty cool that we get to see all that behind us. It's truly such a breathtaking view. You can either hike up here for a few hours or you can drive most of the way up and then just walk about 20 minutes. So it's your choice, whichever one you want to do, but I definitely recommend it on your list of things to do while in Serbia. You absolutely will not be disappointed. Everybody. So what did you think of all those beautiful views from all the way up in Banska Stena? We are currently looking up over the Kanina River right here. Look at how beautiful this is. Can you see? The water is beautiful. It's like a nice blue. It looks very clean. And honestly, I think these little forms here are so cool. I guess these are just places people can go to relax. So, so they, they are called splavs and it's uh, basically like rafts and uh, a lot of people have their own or they're just renting. You can rent one of these houses, uh, you know, for overnight, few nights, whatever. And just imagine waking up to this view. Gorgeous. This is the best. So we saw this view from all the way up somewhere there. All and the way now, up. And now we're here, all the way up. And now we're over here like at land level, kind of taking a look at it. So let me guys show you a little bit of views. Hello everybody! Hey, so we just made it to our third destination of the day. Giovanni, you want to tell us what we're seeing? Okay, this is a house on the rock or house on the on the Drina River. It's very cute and you can see there's not, I don't know much to say about that, but you can see it's very unusual and very cute. Yeah, just think of it as kind of like the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen or like one of those other like things right by the water that you can kind of pose next to and take photos. I thought it was pretty cool. So on our drive to Valevo, we saw this amazing sight behind us on the road and I was like, okay, we have to stop here and get a picture and some footage for you guys because this is unreal. Take a look at these beautiful, beautiful valleys, the sunlight, the mountains, the sky. I mean, it's really something that you would only see in a movie. And I'm actually wondering why I haven't seen any movies yet that have like filmed in places like this. 
but wow it is truly breathtaking and i just wanted to take a moment to share this i don't know how much you guys can see but i think uh, alex can show the video from the camera which is much better much better depicting all this it's really gorgeous so we really had to stop so we are on our way and we'll be back soon And okay, we're just <laughs> a bunch of excursion kids from school are high here because What are they saying? Can you translate for us? Anything I don't know, a bunch of school kids came for excursion and just yelling, I don't know. Because thankfully with T-Mobile, you have free international roaming. Not sponsored. <laughs> not spo yeah, this is not a sponsored video, but thank you to T-Mobile for allowing me to basically still have free data and texting. Now, and when I was in US, they ripped me off because they didn't have such a good plans. Jesus, I paid so much money for... Alright, can we do a shot over here? And foxes. Well, we can get a picture of a cute little fox. As long as you don't foxes jump. Foxes are not cute. Alright, what's that sign say? Well, I don't know, I have to come to it to read. So on our way to Valu, the next Valevo. Step, Valevo. 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 <laughs> no. It's just really cold. Okay, my hand hurts. Bye.